Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another Super Tease video. And just when I thought that that was going to be it, they announced the date. We thought that 10.0.7 was pretty much done and locked in. They did another round of class changes that could dramatically change the landscape once again. So I'm going to be covering all of those changes, whether they be for the game as a whole or for PvP in today's video. If you want to make sure that you're staying up to date with news related to World of Warcraft, entertaining and educational videos, then do make sure to hit the subscribe button. Your support is greatly appreciated. So you can see this. They've talked about it because of the timing of these changes. We intend to add all the following to the 10.0.7 patch notes. Please note that some changes below affect talents that are new or redesigned in 10.0.7 and all should be testable on the PTR soon. So the first thing for Priest is that Rhapsody is now going to grant a stack every two seconds. This is a stacking increased damage to Holy Nova or I believe the healing to Holy Nova. Maybe there's some cheesy builds that you're going to be able to run with this with how fast it's going to be stacking now, but... I'm not sure, at least for PvP, uh, that it's really going to be too much of a viable option. For Holy Priest as well, Burning ve Vehemence now causes Holy Fire to deal 30 to 60% of its initial damage to nearby enemies, up from 15 to 30. So you can tell that they're really trying to work on Holy Priest AoE damage to try and get it more competitive in Mythic+. Plus. And this is probably not going to matter in PvP because usually AoE damage like this doesn't um, end up having too much of an impact. For Shaman, we're seeing some very big buffs. Uh, Swirling Currents increases the healing done by your healing stream totem by 40 to 80% for Elemental, up from 20 to 40. And the same is going to be for Enhancements. So this is a really big healing buff here um, for healing stream totem, specifically on these specializations. It's going to be making them a lot more durable um, as hybrids and likely going to be really powerful as a result. For Affliction, we are seeing Dark Virtuosity, uh, now increasing the damage of your Shadow Bolt and Drain Soul by 5 Five to 10 down from 15 to 30 so they were trying to buff affliction single target in this build and likely they might have over buffed it i was anticipating affliction to not be too great um, but apparently i could have been wrong in this prediction given the fact that they are nerfing these things now um, only with a few days now before this patch comes out kindled malice now is going to increase the damage of malefic rapture and seed of corruption by four to eight percent down from eight to fifteen so this is going to be a, a pretty significant drop in single target damage for affliction for demonology on the other hand your fell guard is going to be doing 20 percent more damage with its auto attack your wild imps are going to be doing 20 percent more damage and your vile fiend is going to be doing 30 percent more damage so some good demonology stonks going up on this one and for destro something that was entirely not necessary for pvp at least three percent damage buff to all of your abilities now we're getting into pvp specific these are only going to be affecting player versus player what's going on with this glacial spike is going to deal 15 percent less damage and its mastery scaling is now 60 percent effective down from 75 percent pvp combat however frost bolt is going to be dealing 100 percent increased damage of pvp combat up from 50 percent so we'll have to wait and see how this all plays out because i don't think a lot of mages are playing frost bolt builds Maybe this buff is enough to do so. Um, this nerf on top of the crit nerfs that are coming in in the future might be like completely overkill to this ability in PvP. Um, but trying to change Frost Mage away from this instant spamming build, which is honestly going to make it weaker, I would think, um, given these changes. For Rep Paladin, we're seeing some pretty big uh, nerfs here. Execution Sentence is only going to be 65% effective in PvP combat. There's a lot of talents that... Um, alter how much damage is going to be doing so I'm honestly not surprised to see this uh, Wake of Ashes is now going to deal 20% less damage to PP combat um, down from 32% so Wake of Ashes doing 12% more damage here um, with this so an interesting kind of nerf to one but buff to another for Pop Paladins Uther's Council effectiveness reduced by 33% in PvP combat and Righteous Protector effectiveness reduced by 50% in PvP combat. I do not know what these abilities mean for Prop Paladin, but I like seeing Prop Paladin nerfs. I will say that. I don't know how much of an impact this is going to have um, on the spec's viability. I would much rather they just classify it as a healer when it comes to rank threes and you just can't queue with healers. You have to queue as a standalone healer and they balance it that way um, like they've done in Solo Shuffle and do that for 3v3 as well. So, But... I don't know how much of an impact these really will have. For Priest, Renew is receiving a buff. It looks like about 7%. Uh, Prayer of Mending is also getting a buff by 6%, and this is for all priests. For Holy specifically, your heal is now going to be healing for 43% in PvP, up from 35 and your Flash healing is now increased by an additional 6%. This is for only Holy. So some interesting healing buffs here. This will affect Discipline Priests, honestly, with the builds that I've been playing on my Disc Priest. This buff to Renew is actually pretty significant, um, but Holy getting some love in this patch, definitely going to be leveling it up a little bit closer in terms of the competition with the other healers, and oh goodness, 
Here we go. What is going on with Rogue? Dark Shadow effectiveness reduced by 20% PvP combat. Daunt's Macabre effectiveness reduced by 33% PvP combat. Perforated Veins effectiveness reduced by 25% PvP combat. Gloom Blade damage increased by 20% PvP combat. And Backstab damage increased by 20% in PvP combat. Um, I don't know what these have in terms of an impact on secret technique because that's pretty much, you know, the only kill window for a rogue in PvP right now. So if this brings down the strength of that window while bringing up the window outside of it, I think it will good, be good for subtlety overall. Um, but uh, I should say good for the game as a whole, not good for subtlety rogue because subtlety rogue definitely relies on killing things in a very small window of time. And if it doesn't have enough damage to do that, I don't see it really being like a sustained damage viable spec um so this is this this could be a really big hit a lot to wait and see um depending on if maybe some gloom blade builds come out as a result of this buff now for warlock they dumped let's see what what did they dump here dark glare from summon dark glare now has 80 percent more health people really are killing dark glare Corruption damage has been increased by 10%. Agony damage has been increased by 10%. Siphon life damage has been increased by 20%. And focused malignancy will now increase malefic rapture damage by 10 to 20% in PvP combat, down from 15 to 30. Developers notes these changes are targeted improving Affliction Warlock's instant cast damage while offsetting the potential burst from malefic rapture with the 10.0.7 talent changes. So instant damage buffs really helps you go a long way in terms of viability. Um, this is definitely going to be well received for Affliction Warlock overall. For Destruction, Bane of Havoc is now uh, going to have an 18 second internal cooldown with Mayhem Talented. Incinerate no longer deals increased damage in PP combat, down from 13% increase. And Shadow Burn damage is now increased by 25%, down from 30%. Uh, we're targeting a decrease to Havoc uptime and offsetting the PvE tuning changes with some reductions to Shadow Burn and Incinerate. We want builds with instant cast to be viable while preferring that the spec relies on chaos bolts for most most kills so taking damage out of some of those uh, spender abilities putting them more back into chaos bolts trying to make it more of kind of like the burst spec um as opposed to being like almost a better affliction warlock honestly with how instant cast it was getting um with its previous changes fatality for arms warrior uh now stacks fatal mark up to a maximum of eight times against enemy players down from 20 so this is going to significantly reduce the execute burst from arms warrior which was a you know really cheesy way of executing kills um at the moment so really good love uh, for affliction warlock with this don't know if really these changes to the Destro is going to have a huge impact on them. These subtlety rogues could completely destroy this spec, or maybe it just doesn't matter. Love to see Holy Priest getting some love. Um, some little rearrangements for Rep Paladin. This for Frost Mage, I'm not sure if it actually like hurts the spec more than helps it, because if you have to stand still and cast Frost Bolt, it's going to be a lot tougher for you, um, especially when it comes to solo queue. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. It's it's nice to see that they did go after some specific buffs. I also saw on another page that they are buffing Earth Shield healing. I don't know if that was 100% confirmed by 60% or something uh, for Resto, which could make Resto Shaman a lot more competitive. But so personally, I really like the ongoing changes, the constant updates, little tweak here, little tweak there, try and get the game into a better position um, over time because uh, almost always the first season of an expansion for PvP is kind of just a gong show nobody knows what what's going to happen and things are really imbalanced but to be fair this first season when it comes to first seasons it's probably the least gong show of any season that i have played like i'm i'm actually enjoying it um a, a lot at the moment so with time this could easily evolve the game into an amazing state so I'm going to be eager to see what the next update looks like. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Does this excite you to check out Affliction Warlock? Um, given the talent changes that it's getting and these damage buffs that it's getting, is this going to finally be the patch? I feel like it's often Affliction. Just We talk about it being the best, and it never works out. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching the video, and I will catch you in the next one.